Jungle Man had some trouble depositing. So we're actually going to play 1020 and crossbook the other 9180 because he couldn't get enough money in his account. So unfortunately, it won't look as cool for the stream, but I assure you we are playing the proper stakes. Falcons is so by the books. He's so used to studying in school and getting out of his notebook. <laughs> but when you throw him on the real streets in the real world, well, actually, he's done pretty well in the real world, too, with his businesses. He may be the best in the world, or one of the best, whatever it is, top one, top three, but he's never played against a wild animal before. Like, I think he's not going to believe me here, and that's why I'm going big. Because if he has, like, King King 8, or King King 7, and then he can flick in the call, thinking I'm repping 7-8, and he blocks it. And I called with a lot of, like, pair plus flush draw stuff. Still the nuts here, but we don't like that card. Okay, so here I three bet. I check called flop. We're less likely to get action now. I check called turn. And I'm checking river. That's a very ugly card on the river. Uh, I'll take off my shirt, although it's probably not that kind of channel. It's full pot. I wonder if that is the solver play. That probably is. It's not easy for me to have straight hair. I, mean, I, I just get rid of it. Whatever, man. Combo's just too whack. And yeah, that river was unfortunate on the left, but there were worse rivers. It's 100, 200 stakes, by the way, guys. It's not 20. We're cross booking 10 times because we're playing on this site, WSOP.com. And yeah, it's hard to get money on this site. And also inconvenient. Warwick is better, as Daniel and Granu says. It's too bad we have a queen. I want him to have queen, queen. Here I have a really weird situation. I think I got a call. So I bet flop two thirds pot, and then I bet pot on the turn. Now he raises me. I have gut shot, flush draw, lots of good stuff. It's not great. I don't think he's going to try to rep the deuce, so I think I just have to shove myself. If it were like a deuce of hearts, maybe. Well, then it's, it's clearly not a shove, but. Oh, oh, I thought I had two pair. I don't know why. I, I thought I had king six, jack two. Uh, I, mis, I misread my hand. For some reason, I thought I had two pair and a gut shot. Uh, either way, I mean, I still had, like, kind of a lot. I'll try here. I mean, I'm not feeling great about it. There are a decent amount of draws that miss. You know, king, queen. I don't know this one. I don't know. The six could have a set of queens. Does he do this as king queen? Probably not. I don't know. It seems okay to call. Yeah. I had a light call. I don't know. It seems okay. I don't really block a lot of his bluffs. It seems seems like I have a great hand to call with, and pretty good price. Um. Okay. So we're getting a little back. I'm not supposed to check this, but I want to. All right, I three bet and I check the flop. That is the turn. I'm going to check again. Not the prettiest, but I will call. I mean, I played this hand silly, but that's what I thought would be the highest EV against Jungle Man today. Strange size. Very strange size. Very strange size. Very strange size. Why is he doing this? Uh very strange size. I think it's the river sizing he's going to believe the least. Or the amount that goes into the pot, I guess, is what I mean. Five is good, I would say, to call with. The other cards, queen and eight are good. The ace is not good. Uh, who needs money anyway? Oh, geez. What does he have here? He's got like, like just a strange play. Just very, I can't think of why he's doing this. You're probably over there being suspicious. What's Falcons up to this time? He's very devious. Ugh. God damn it. Feels really stupid. Hmm. Queen eight. Oh, I made that way too big. The Falcons is the Falcons is swift. That's for sure. He's swift. Oh shit. Uh, that's okay anyway. This is a bizarre spot to raise. Very weird. Very weird. Okay, Phil. What am I going to say? Like, I can't, can't exactly. I mean, I guess I could call. It's a really strange spot to raise. 
Maybe what he's saying, I think he had it and he thought that I had a flush. I think that's what, it, what happened there. He's thinking, oh, jungle probably has a, ti a sizing tail here. I think that's what was, what was going on in that spot. And when the falcon is backed into a corner, he's not unlike the jungle. Whoops out some moves. So the flop on check, check. And the turn, I bet full pot called river he bet. I checked to him, he bet half pot. Some weird bluff here. Oh, he was bluffing. I love that. I think a call by him here. I didn't think. Well, I guess I did think he would call that, but it's hard for me to have bluffs. It makes sense for sure. It's very hard to have a bluff there. Oh, he's bluffing. He's trying to bluff the jungle. Good call. Does he know? Does he know who? Like, like it's like so crazy. These guys who try to bluff me. It's just like, do they forget like who I am in the moment? I don't know. Check called flop. Now going to check called turn. That worked out nicely. I got called by 963 when that diamonds. I was in bad shape on the turn. We are deep, so anything can happen. Uh, we could play a 120k pot here on the right. All right, are we going to play a 100k pot? We'll need a six, probably. Oh, or we'll need <laughs> we'll need this. Oh, I flopped straight. No, I don't want to play a 100k uh, pot this hand well, because that will mean he has something to call down with because I am. Going for it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for the check raise. The question is how much. Weird. I think it's not that different from a single raise pot. Except now my range is... Yeah, it's like kind of similar. I mean, either way, the ranges are quite polar in this spot. Very weird. I'm just not ready to believe him yet. If I bet he's got... I like really, in my soul, don't believe him. But if he bets big here, there's not a whole lot that I can do. I could have all kinds of shit here. I could have two sixes. I could have two fives. I mean, I have seven. That kind of sucks. Yeah. He's bluffing. <laughs> I really feel like he's bluffing, uh, but I'm, I can't do anything. What can I do? I need some owl feathers. Well, I need. And shove to win. I mean, shove with a dead hand to win 2,400. 46 to win 24. He needs to be bluffing two thirds of the time. I mean, it's just like a, a little bit too. Suicidal. I really don't believe him. Other problem is though, he could have like eight, five, four, four, and just call off, and I'm drawing near dead. Just really, I really don't believe him. Wow, that's too bad. No, he was bluffing. I mean, I don't know he was bluffing. I really think he was bluffing. This is to make him fold straights, which is maybe a little ambitious given the way he plays. But to this end, he uh. Check raises small and now bets full pot on the turn. The thing is that I just don't understand how, like, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of nut flushes. But this is the other benefit. And I guess I guess I can bluff him on the river. This is a bizarre bet on the river, though. This is very... This is maybe too thin. This is very weird. This is very weird. Uh, I'm just going to fold. I, I mean, like, if he checked, I would bluff, but I think something's up here. I just don't know what it is. Mr. Gal Mr. Falcons this is very bold to take some uh, exploitative lines against me. Very brave. Very brave, Mr. Falcons. I don't know if he knows what he's messing with. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ben, Benavidi or whatever, I'm not Vivaldi or whatever's his name is not dealing with the, no normal villain. In case you didn't know, I'm a super villain. Sometimes I'm bipolar, I guess. Oh, there we go. See, this is what I hoped happened. See, so he's going to fold to my rays. I suppose queen, queen it is. I mean, I have terrible calling hand. I think he will fold, but, you know, I have the second nuts and I would block here. Queen 10 9, is he capable? He's definitely capable, but I think that, I mean, it's the worst calling hand that I can have. Like the worst, yeah, of all my value bets, that's the worst one I can have. A three bet, bet flop, bet turn. Turn is very suspect, but here we are. This is a tough spot. Um, all my outs are good. It's obviously a clear call, but we're very often, they're basically never all good. Eight brings two higher straights, four, like four, I'm losing to both. Spades. We have spades a lot. 
This ace five eight six play might be too. This might be some kind of punt of sorts. I'm curious to see the sin on this one. If it's like wildly off, it's no good. Sure. So I don't think that's going to be good against Galfon. Five. Beat by sets and two pair a lot. Getting over two to one. If he potted, I think it's a fold. At this price, I think it's a call, but I'm not happy. Now I'm happy. <laughs> oh, geez. I cannot bet here. Right? Can I? I don't know. This has gotten weird. Yeah, I think I have to do it. Ugh. Oh. Bluffing turn with the best hand. That is why I did it. Because a lot of the draws miss. Yeah. Very clear river bluff from him, obviously. Yeah. Not about that one. I don't know about that one. Like, the turn is the turn is not great. The river is like... The river is... Or seems mandatory. There's lots of jack ten combos you can fold. Push draw combos, things like that. I'm just like on the river thinking to myself, why did I bet the turn? No, oh, I gotta bet the river. Okay, interesting card. Interesting card. Very interesting. Uh not sure what to do. I'm probably now. I'm gonna check. It's his bottom of my range. I don't think he really attacks this this that much. The thing is that I don't think he's going to call three streets with a a straight anyway. I think he can bluff, and I think I should just basically like do some stuff on rivers. Uh, that's a weird card. Yeah, I was thinking if I should lead, maybe. Unfortunate. He makes a lot of flushes here. Um, but I mean, I think I have a clear bluff. All right. Well, he was bluffing, and we got him. There we go. Just the nuts. And there goes our <laughs> short-lived moment in the sun. You got some spice over here. Standard, standard, standard. Okay. I wish we were 100 big lines deep, because then this would be an easy get-in at some point. But here we are. Oh, man, I got to blast it off now. I got to blast it off. Yikes. I'm not going to fold. But, I mean, I tempted to. I have it, right? I have the weird it. Hopefully that river... I mean, hopefully he has king eight and we check it down. River might have saved me some money against eight eight or king king. What a weird man. All right, let's uh, let's just let's ch chill for a second. I don't know what to do here. This is so weird. This is really weird. He's not supposed to jam sets here. Wow. That's too bad. All right, I won. Let's see who he had. It's really just like... What the oh, he had a set! Oh! <laughs> play is very reasonable i got saved <laughs> oh man i think i check all right falcons time to meet your demise got about 15 20 minutes left blocking you know two aces and a four it's hard for him to have calling hands obviously not the river i was hoping for but we have a very clear check i think his hand is pretty likely good Important to keep in mind only one straight got there on the river, 5 7, because Deuce 5 was already there on the turn. Yeah, he's going fucking nowhere. I smelt it. I smelt the aces. I can dodge bullets. It's got to be a dodge bullet song. There's no real folding on hand, um, but blocking two aces, it makes a better check. I mean, he just had tens. If I have queens there, it makes a good bet. All right, so I have three bets, and definitely going to bet this one. Good flop for my range, good flop for me too. All right, we'll take the nine of hearts turn if we're picking turn cards. It wasn't my first choice, but I'll take it. Okie dokie. I think this is the most obvious check on the planet. He may even check back two pairs and things like that. Uh, yeah, I think I got to check. We're bent like real small. I could do something cute like that. I don't really like, uh, after I did this, I kind of real think I shouldn't have done this. It's at least okay. How bad could this be? I'm gonna call. I think he's bluffing. It's too bad. I guess he can also have like Jack Jack. Bad blockers here with tens. Unfortunate river on the right. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Hypothetically, in his eyes, I can totally have a boat. As a matter of fact, this is not a bad hand to check raise. Uh, if he full pots it, I do think. Um, I think having Ace Jack is better. To check raises a bluff. Weird. What does he have? Jack, Jack. 
like it does really look like there's a high chance that I have a 10. I don't mind. It, I guess a check raise could be okay. I mean, the main worry is that he has jacks full, but that's quite unlucky anyway. Other than that, I'm very confused to be honest. I, I I'm gonna check. I mean, but I, I just don't understand what he has. Okay, that's fine to let that hand make you know the second nut straight. So. Okay, I actually saved a lot of money by that small bet, so I'm real happy with how with the result anyway. Like he didn't decide of it. He's so scared with his ace king queen. He didn't want to like bet on the ten. I mean, <laughs> Falcons. <laughs> Falcons is getting a little scared. He's he's backing off a little. He's a little uh he's just a bit he's a bit spooked. Doesn't know how to handle the jungle. Doesn't know how to handle his arch nemesis. It's front of me. Like four line situation. Smell that coming. This is like kind of random stupid check raise. Mm. I mean, my time, I could have been timing down just thinking about size to make it or balancing or whatever. It's not really a big deal that I was tanking. Slightly suspicious just because I think a lot of Jack-9 bets turn. Queen-Jack-9 doesn't, though. King-Jack. I do not want the 8 to check-raise. I want the 8 to call with. I mean, I don't block any of it. 9 is good because it blocks Jack-9. Queen is... It is with a lot of bluffs, but I just call Jack-9 and some, like even just a 9 is helpful. I think I don't want the ace. Oh, I got him! I got him! I bluffed him! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bluffing falcons is is one of the best things that uh money can buy. Actually, money can buy it if you think about it. Money can actually buy that. Well, you can't beat falcon with pure conventionality. In case you didn't know, excellent flop for my range for my hand. It's okay. I'm gonna bet. This. this is a fold it might be back to enough left draw i'm gonna call but so here um it's an interesting situation i think i just bet full pot here i think this is a call because he's gonna have like king king with spades and queen queen with spades that i'm absolutely crushing obviously i'm not doing well against the value portion of his range but got some outs and over here, I'm in this dumb spot. Um, I guess now I can win. I have the flush draw, which is not good to have here. Uh, I guess I'm just going to give up. This is not really a spot. If if I overbluff, it's not going to be by much in this spot. And I'm not going to pick some shitty combo for it. So if I didn't hit the five, I would have a clear bluff. As is, well, maybe not clear. I think I just show this down. Like, is he really playing Jack Jack King this way? Without, like, he would bet River, I think. I think he's just giving up. He could win, I guess. God damn it, man. Fuck. Falcons! Ooh, uh, squeaked one out there at the end. That was a tough session, uh, but I am happy with my comeback. If you've enjoyed these highlight videos as much as I have. I've really enjoyed watching them and I know people have uh, in the comments as well. This is unfortunately the last of them for now. Jungle Man and I will play again in the future. So subscribe so that you don't miss the next live stream. I don't often announce when I'm going live too far in advance, but we will play again in the future. Also, if you've missed past live streams, those are still up on my YouTube in full. You can watch every hand that I played and what I was talking about as I was playing them. Uh, and we'll throw one or two of them up here and hopefully it's two because I'll look stupid otherwise.